Hey YouTube, I'm Kishan and in this video we are going to create this completely functional Spotify clone using React and Spotify API. So this is the login page and when I click this connect Spotify, it will connect to the original Spotify here. So let's do that. It has been connected and now I'm getting this playlist from the Spotify. You can see that here and we also get the playlist contents from there. So when I change the playlist, it will also change. It will fetch all the tracks from the playlist. Now when I click over this, it will play the track. You can see that here it has been playing and it is also playing in the main Spotify. Now when I change the track, it will change the track. Okay, now when I uh, hit this play pause button, it will play and pause the track. You can see that here. I'll skip to the next song and it will skip here. I'll skip to the previous song and it would be same in here. I can also increase and decrease the volume. I'll increase the volume. The volume is increased here. I'll decrease it here and I will pause here so it is also being paused so let's play another track yeah it is working perfectly so without wasting any time let's get started to create this Spotify clone so now we'll begin setting up of our react application so I'll open a new terminal and I will write npx create hyphen react hyphen app and the name of our react app which is spotify clone this will set up our react application this process may take time depending upon your network connection so our react application has been successfully installed now we'll move on to the spotify clone directory and i will write yarn add and we'll add some dependencies that we are going to use so first we will need the style components then we would need the react icons package and we will also need axios for api calling and that's it hit enter to install these dependencies while this is being installed Let's open our source folder and remove this clutter files. We don't need this, 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 this one and this one. We will delete those and inside app.js we'll remove all this code and we'll write RFC and this will create our component again and inside index.js we are gonna remove this import over here and the function call at the end of here that's it save it now let's wait for these dependencies to get installed and run the application Okay, so dependencies have been installed and now let's start the application by yarn start yarn start hit enter and yeah that's it our app is working fine now let's head over to VS code again and create a new directory over here which is okay we'll create the directory utils and inside the utils we will have the state provider dot jsx and 
will have the reducer.js reducer.js now inside the state provider so we are going to use context api and use reducer hook for state management so for that first we'll import create context use context and the use reducer hook from react now we'll write export const state context is equals to create context now we'll also export const state provider equals to arrow function and we'll return state context dot provider and inside here we'll have the children props so we will destructure that from here children again after children we will also need the initial state initial state the reducer and we will pass that as value here so we'll use that as use reducer hook and we'll pass the reducer here and the initial state here that's it now let's head over to the reducer.js and create this initial state and the reducer function so inside the reducer what we are gonna do is we'll write export const initial state initial state this would be the initial state here we'll just write the token for now this would be the spotify token this would be null at the initial now we'll also write const reducer equals to state and the action we'll have this switch case here we'll have the action dot type here and we'll return the values accordingly so at now we'll just write the default as return state that's it and at the end we'll write export default reducer now let's head over to the index.js and we are gonna use the uh, state provider here so we are gonna wrap this app component inside the state provider so whenever we want to use our state provider we can use uh, everywhere in the child components so we'll write state provider this would be auto imported now we will pass initial state as initial state okay it is up auto imported and the reducer would be the reducer yeah that's it so it is also input auto imported so now we have made a mistake in the state provider we have to uh, use the parentheses instead of the curly braces because we will automatically return this that's it okay our app is running and now we'll also export const use state provider equals to use context and state context so what this use state provider uh, will do is it will return the use context value of the state context so this is very reusable so that's it so our base setup is completed now let's have the login functionality and get the spotify token from the spotify so now we'll create the login functionality for that we'll create a new folder named as components inside components 
will create a login.jsx file this would be our login component we'll write rfc and this is login.jsx not logins so login.jsx rename this component here as login now we'll import styled from okay we need to write the whole import import styled from style components now we'll write const container is equals to styled dot dev this is container and we will replace this div with the style div named as container now we'll import this into the app.js inside here we'll write login we need this component we now let's head over to login.jsx and here we'll write login not here inside here login okay it's working now inside this login we'll have an image tag and we will have a button as connect spotify okay we have the button and for the image we have this website this is in the description and we are gonna copy this logo and paste it here the l text would be spotify save it let's see close this yeah it is here now let's style this before proceeding further so this is the login.jsx we have display of flex given to it let me shrink the window so you can see display flex flex direction column not this column then we need align items center justify content center then we will have an height of 100 viewport height width of 100 viewport width then we will give it a background color of green this would be hexadecimal 1d uh, b954 save it then we'll also provide a gap of 5m then we will select the image we'll give it the height of 20 viewport height then we'll select the button and we'll give it a padding of 1rem and 5rem then we'll give it a border radius of 5rem okay this should be outside the image tag that's it okay why this is not working okay this should be width should be 100 viewport width yeah that's correct now we don't need any border to this button after that we'll also give it a background color of black then we'll give it a color of hexadecimal 4 9 f 5 8 5 then we'll give it a font size of 1.4 rem and we'll give it a cursor of pointer yeah that's it now on click of this button we need an handle click event so this would be an function here const handle click equals to arrow function and let's check if it's working click connect spotify yeah it's working let me maximize this 
okay so now we need to create an spotify application inside the spotify developers console so hit this url this is in the description of the video then log in with your spotify account and we'll create a new application here this would be spotify clone description is also needed we'll write spotify clone check this create now inside this we'll edit settings and we'll copy our react uh, this url and we'll have this redirect url as this add save and we will also copy this client id that's it we don't need this now now inside this function again we'll have const client id is equals to the id which we copied then we will have an const redirect url equals to this url then we'll have const api url equals to https colon slash slash accounts dot spotify dot com slash authorize that's it then we will have some scope so we will have the scope from this so what the scopes are that in order to perform anything in the uh, spotify application you first have the uh, scope then only you can uh, do that so we will have this various uh, scopes if you want to know about them in detail you can click on that and you can read about that so what we'll do is first we need these both scopes this should be in string format after this we need the these three scopes and then we want uh, these scopes so now uh, let's have the url first and then i will explain this window.location.href this would be api url then we have the query string as client id this would have our client id then we will have redirect uri equals to redirect url ampersand scope and here this should be in this string format and this should be a uh, space separated so what we'll do is we'll write scope dot join and we'll join all of this with an empty space done and after that we have response type equals to token and we need to show dialog so we'll write show dialog equals to true okay that's it so let me explain this so this client id is the uh, specific client id that is unique for everyone then we have this redirect url so after authenticated we need our application to be redirected to this url so this is important if you have done this uh, incorrectly then we will not get the token then we will uh, we need to connect this 
to this API URL and I have already explained the scopes then we have this window.location.href this is the javascript function so we will assign this URL API URL so it will automatically redirect it uh, to this URL so let's head over here and I'll click this and yeah it's working agree and we have the access token here now so now we need to uh, get this access token from the URL so let's do that let's head over to app.js and inside what we will do is we'll have an use effect hook here use effect and every time this page is loaded we will run this use effect and we'll pass it an uh, empty dependency array now we need hash from window dot location dot hash so let me console this hash I'll open the console ignore this warning so we have this hash here now we have to uh, get this token from the hash so for that what we'll do is we'll write if there is a hash then we'll have token equals to hash dot substring of one so let me console it and write token okay so we have removed the hash from here so now we have this uh, full values now what we'll do is we'll change the split method here we'll split everything by m percent so before saving you can see that everything is separated by this m percent here you can see that here it is so i'll have it and we will get an array of the values so from here we need the zeroth element which is our token okay so access token now we'll do the same split method for equals to and we'll get the first element so that's it done we have our access token here now okay now what we'll do is we'll head over to the reducer.js here we'll define our token so for that we'll create an constants.js file constants constants.js and in here we'll we'll be writing export const reducer cases equals to the first would be set token equals to not equals to colon set token that's it now head over to reducer.js and here we'll write a case case uh, reducer cases make sure to import the reducer cases reducer cases dot set token then we will return dot 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 state and token as do we have to return the token yes we have to return the token as action dot token that's it now let's head over to the app.js and here we'll have the use state provider this would return the values and the dispatch method dispatch and here we'll destructure the token now what we'll do is we'll dispatch action as reducer cases dot set token and the token 
that's it remove this console and here we'll pass the token and the dispatch in the dependencies so whenever these both are changed this would be rerun okay now what we will do is we'll create another component as spotify.jsx i'll write rfc head over to app.js and we will check if initially if the token is null the token is null then we will have the we will uh, okay so initially if the token uh, is not null we will have the spotify component or else we will have the login component okay I think I made a mistake you can Spotify let me open this components and check it here okay so our dispatch has not worked correctly I think Okay, this should be type not action type and yeah it's working now so that's it our login uh, is done and we have the access token from the Spotify so we can use the Spotify APIs now so first we'll uh, create the Spotify layout so let's do that so now we'll create the Spotify layout so for that let's head over to spotify.jsx and we'll import style from style components and we'll write const container is equals to style dot dev this would be small o container and We'll remove this Spotify inside this we'll have a div with a class name of Spotify body then inside this we have the body inside the body we have the body contents okay now after this we have Spotify footer that's it now let's create some components that we are going to use here so first we'll have a sidebar not here we'll write new file sidebar.jsx write rfc then we will have navbar.jsx rfc then we will have body dot jsx will write rfc then after the body we will have footer dot jsx will again write rfc that's it now head over to spotify dot jsx again and here we are gonna input those components inside the spotify body we will have sidebar then inside the body we will have navbar then inside the body contents we will have the body body and inside this spotify footer we will have our footer component that's it now inside this uh, style.dev we are gonna do our styling so let me shrink this so let's give it the max width of 100 viewport width 100 viewport width give it a max height of 100 viewport height 
then we will have overflow of hidden then we'll give it a display of grid and we'll give it a grid template rows of 85 viewport height and 15 viewport height so the footer would be here and this would be the Spotify body now we'll select the Spotify body give it a display of grid grid template columns of 15 viewport width and an 85 viewport width so this would be the sidebar and this would be Spotify body now let's give it a height of we'll give it a height of 100% and we'll also provide a width of 100% then we will give it a background color not background color we'll just give it a background of linear gradient value would be transparent transparent and RGBA 0 0 0 1 okay so there is our gradient then we will give it a background color this would be RGB 32 87 and 100 okay then let's select the body we will copy this height with 100% paste it and we will give it an overflow of auto yeah that's it now let's head over to sidebar.jsx and have the styling there so inside the sidebar.jsx we will just give it a background color of black so const uh, not const we'll write import style from style components const container is equals to styled dot dev we'll have this as container now we'll just give this a background color of black that's it so this is our sidebar now let's go to the footer we'll copy this i think we should copy all of this head over to footer i'll just paste it here change the component name to footer let's remove this Okay, footer. I think we have an error here. Okay, this is here. Footer. But let's give it a red. Okay, so this should be after this. Why is that? Let's head over to Spotify.jsx. let me debug this spotify footer let's head over to footer and i think we should give this a height of 100 percent yeah that's it and we'll change this color to 181818 yeah that's it so our spotify layout is ready and now we'll start creating this sidebar so let's do that 
so now for the sidebar here the first three would be the links and after that we will be having the playlist so let's do that inside here uh, I'll get rid of this sidebar I'll create a new div with a class name of top links inside it we have a div with a class name of logo inside that we'll have an image and the source would be copied from login.jsx we want this image I'll copy this inside the sidebar I'll get rid of this image tag and paste it and here at the end instead of this black we'll just replace this black with white so we'll have a white image you can see that here and after this after this div we'll have an ul inside ul we have three allies so i'll write ally into three inside the allies we'll have span tag span inside the span we'll have the home span search not ally span inside this again we'll have the span and this would be your library so these would be static links so let's also import the icons that we need so I'll import from react icons and this would be io5 we need two uh, not two just one icon from this package that is io library and the others would be from the react icons md so i'll write import from react icons md and in here i'm gonna import md home filled and other would be md search that's it now let's use that inside here we'll use md home filled this would be md search and this would be io library that's it let's check the ui okay it won't be visible because this image let let's tell that so in here we have the background color black then we'll give it a color of hexadecimal b3 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 then we will give it a display of flex let me shrink this so you can see flex direction column after that we'll give it a height of 100% a width of 100% after that let's select the top links inside the top links we'll give it a display of flex flex direction of column then we'll select the logo We'll give it a text align of center and we'll give it a margin of one rem to top and bottom and zero to left and right. We'll select the image and we'll give it a match and line size of 80% I think. Okay, that's correct. And we'll also give it a block size of auto. that's it now let's select the ul we'll give it a list style type of none then we'll give it a display of flex flex direction of column gap of one rem padding of one rem 
and we'll select the li inside it we'll give it a display of flex gap of one rem cursor of pointer we'll give it a transition transition of 0 0.3 seconds seconds is in out and whenever we hover over this hover we'll give it a color of white let's hover over it yeah it's working so this is done now we'll list the playlists here so for the playlist let me expand this we'll create a new component named as playlists dot jsx I'll write rfc and inside the sidebar I think at the end here we'll import and use the playlists yeah okay the playlists are here now we'll move on to that component only playlists yeah inside here first what we will do is before doing anything else we'll get the playlist from the spotify api so let's do that first we'll import the use effect hook here use effect okay this should be curly braces we'll remove this and we'll use the use effect hook here use effect We'll pass the token and dispatch here because that's only we are going to use and this would be used from use state provider use state provider const equals to we we'll destructure the token from the state we just need the token and the dispatch dispatch and yeah, that's it now what we'll do is we'll create a function named as get const get playlist data is equals to async this would be an async function because we are gonna call an api so we have to use async await you can also use uh, promises but i prefer async await now inside here we'll have const response response is equals to await axios make sure that you import axios from axios so we'll write await axios dot this would be a get request and what the api we are going to use is this one let me show you that uh, docs reference this api and in here we'll have this playlist i think where that api got yeah this one so not this one we are gonna use uh, let me find that api give me a minute okay so we are gonna use this api get current users playlist that would be under the users and we are going to use this get slash me playlist so we are going to copy this and make sure that you pass this header of authorization and content type application json so we are going to copy this we'll paste this 
here and after this we'll pass an headers headers that would be authorization let's copy that from here only authorization and the authorization would be bearer space and we'll join this with our token after that we'll pass content type as application slash json make sure that this is correct if anything is mistaken here then this will fail so after this let's console the response response and i think our api would fail because our token would have expired yes we have an 401 error which is of uh, token expiration let's get a new token okay request field with status 404 let's check that in network service not found what does that mean okay let me check service not found api.spotify.com playlist okay this should be playlists not playlist let's see the console yeah we have our console inside this data we have our playlist this items so these are all our playlists so let's only console that so what i'm gonna do is i'll get the items items is equals to response dot data and we'll just console the items i'll close this so you can see that i'm going talking about this items array so this is our items here we have our all the playlist details that we need okay so now let's remove this console and we'll write const playlist is equals to items dot map we'll pass an error function here we'll destructure name and id and we will return return name and id that's it now let's console the playlist playlists yeah that's it we have got the id and the playlists okay so now we are gonna store this in our reducer so let's go to the constants.js and here we'll add a new type as set playlist and this would be the string set playlist now let's head over to reducer.js and here we will add a new case reducer cases dot set playlist as return dot 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 state and here i think we will be naming this as playlist yes we are going to name this as playlist this would be action dot playlist okay and initially this playlist would be an empty array here playlist empty array let's head over to playlists and now what we will do is we are gonna dispatch this dispatch type as reducer cases make sure that it is auto imported set playlist and we'll pass the playlist that's it okay so our use effect has done now what we will do is inside this playlist we'll have an ul 
and we are going to map the playlist here playlist dot map we are going to destructure the name and id will return li will pass key as the id and here we'll just have the name let's check okay playlist is not defined okay we also need to import that and this dispatch would be outside of this curly bracket and this would be playlists that's it we sh dispatch is not a function let's reload this okay yeah we have our playlist here we just have to style this now so for that let's go to sidebar and copy this paste it here and let's go to sidebar again and I'm just gonna copy this ul style and I'll write const container is equals to styled dot dev I'll pass in the styles and replace this div with the container let's check okay we have some here error here playlist Okay, this is imported here, the same component. We have to remove this. Yeah, it's working. Now, we are gonna add some code here for the scroll bar. So, I have less amount of playlist in my account of Spotify. If you have more, then we will add a scroll bar here. So, uh, it scrolls. So, let's do that. What I'm gonna do is, I will just copy this and paste it two times so we get the data and it gets overflown so now we can add the scroll bar here first what I'm gonna do is I'll give it a height here of 100% then we'll give it a overflow of hidden then inside the ul after padding we'll give it a height of 55 viewport height then we'll give it a max height of 100 percent not here we'll give it a here 100 percent after this we'll give it a overflow of auto let's check yeah we have the scroll bar here let's style the scroll bar to make it more like the spotify theme so here we we'll write m percent webkit scroll bar. We just need this two pseudo selectors with 0.7 rem, and we'll select m percent dash thumb. We'll give it a background color RGBA 255255255 and 0 0.6 yeah that's more like it and it's looking great we will just decrease this to 52 viewport height yeah now what I'm just gonna delete this extra playlist that's it so that's it our sidebar is completed now we will design this body section first we'll design the nav bar here so let's do that so now let's head over to nav bar navbar.jsx okay so before uh, doing anything here we are gonna get uh, the user info 
from the spotify.jsx so we have to call the API from there so let's head over to spotify.jsx and in here we will get this first we'll have the use effect use effect we are going to use the use effect here Mm. we'll have an m uh, not empty we'll just pass dispatch dispatch and token here we'll get the token from use state provider i think we should copy this from not now bar playlists copy inside spotify.jsx we don't need the playlists um, that's it inside here we'll make a function get user info is equals to a sync we'll get const data is equals to await axios dot get so which API we are gonna use is yeah we are gonna use this slash me this is a get uh, type so get we'll just copy this from here https not this header that's it and we are going to pass the headers and we are going to copy that from here copy paste that's it let's console the data data refresh this do we have a console no we don't have any console okay we have to call this function get user info get user info yeah we have the data so we just need the display name from here so let's get it and save it so we will also get the id so we'll write const user info as user id as data dot id and we'll get user name as data dot display underscore name that's it now we need to dispatch this event dispatch type reducer cases dot set user okay we haven't set it so let's go to constants and we'll write set user set user copy this head over to reducer.js and we we'll write user info as null and here we'll get a case as case reducer cases dot set user return dot 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 state and user info as action dot user info that's it let's head over to spotify.jsx and here type reducer cases dot set user and we'll pass our user info here that's it it's complete now let's head over to playlist not playlist navbar.jsx and inside the navbar.jsx we'll first import style style from style components We'll write const container is equals to styled dot dev. Let's change this devs to container. Container. Now we'll remove this nav bar and inside the nav bar we'll give it a yeah we'll uh, give it a dev of class name search bar. 
will give it a fa search this has to be imported from react icons fa search from react icons fa then we will also need another icon which is cg profile cg profile from react icons cg so this is uh, fa search after this we'll write input type text we don't need name and id we'll give it a placeholder as artist songs and podcasts artist songs or podcasts after this div we'll have another div named as avatar then we'll use a tag the hyper reference would be hash here we'll use the cg profile and we'll use a span tag which would have user info dot name that's it so we need to use the uh, hook or uh, not hook use state provider and we don't need the dispatch method also we don't need the token we just need the user info let's check data is not defined use state provider is not defined let's auto import this and inside spotify.jsx data okay we have the data here okay this needs to be inside this get user function inside of here and we'll have get user info function called that's it we don't have any errors okay this is a body and i don't think we got our username let me see let me console the user info okay we are getting our user info so why it is not working let's head over to navbar user info let's console user info console log user info okay here we are getting object object and user info is null this is set afterwards uh, let's have another console here named as from navbar okay so we are getting it here user info dot name okay, we will leave this for now we'll just style this first and we'll check that afterwards so let's style this i'll shrink this remove this give it a display of flex give it a justify content of space between align items of center then we'll give it a padding of 2 rem after that we'll give it a height of 15 viewport height and we'll give it a position of sticky so whenever we scroll the body so it should stick to the top now we'll also give it a top of 0 and we'll get a transition of 0.3 seconds ease in out after that we'll give it a background color we'll just give it a none for now and afterwards when it is scrolled we'll give it a black color that would be in the body section search bar 
let's create a background color of white then we'll give it a width of 30 percent we'll give it a padding of 0 0.4 rem and 1 rem we'll give it a border radius of 2 rem so uh, I uh, got the error here so we just have to write username here instead of name I think n should be capital yeah we are getting the name as you can see here that's it now after this border radius 2 rem what we are gonna do is we'll give it a display of flex we'll give it a uh, align items of center a gap of 0 0.5 rem now let's select the input first we don't need any border here so we'll give it a border of none after that um, we'll give it a height of 2 rem after height we'll give it a width of 100 percent that's it now whenever we focus over this we don't need any outline so let me show you the outline so we don't need this outline we'll remove this percent focus outline and this would be none that's it okay we are still getting it the spelling is incorrect this should be focus yeah it's gone now now we just have to uh, style this avatar so let me get the vs code here after this input mm, not input outside of this search bar we'll have another div class name of avatar we'll give it a background color of black then we'll give it a padding of 0 0.3 rem and uh, 0 0.4 rem then we'll give it a padding right of 1 rem then we'll get a border radius of 2 rem give it a display of flex justify content not justify content justif justify content of center then we'll give it a align items of center that's it now let's select the A we'll give it a display of flex we'll give it justify content of center align items of center gap of 0 0.5 rem text decoration of none color of white font weight would be bold let's select the SVG and we'll give it a font size of 1.3 rem background color would be hash 282828 padding would be 0 0.2 rem border radius would be 1 rem and we'll give it a color of hexadecimal c7 c5 c5 yeah that's it so that's it our navbar is complete and it is styled now we'll have this body section here so let's do that let's head over to body.jsx and create this spotify body body.jsx and inside here first we'll import styled from style components 
from styled components then we are gonna import two icons not two we are just gonna import one icon which is from react icons AI react icons AI this would be AI fill clock circle that's it now we will also need use effect use effect let's create container is equals to styled dot dev let's replace this div with container that's it now before writing any further code we'll get the data from our uh, api so for that we'll use the use state provider first uh, so we are gonna copy that yeah we can copy that from here use state provider body paste we don't know want the user info we need the token and we also need the dispatch method dispatch okay we also need to import use state provider then we'll use the use effect hook let's pass the dependency array of token and dispatch yeah that's it now what we will do is we'll create a function as get initial playlist playlist equals to async now for the initial playlist what we are going to do is I have this playlist I'm going to copy this ID from the Spotify so whatever playlist you open it has a unique ID you can copy that from above here so I'm just gonna copy this ID and I'll head over to reducer.js and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste this ID here as selected playlist ID okay now let's head over to uh, okay we also no we will uh, not write the case now whenever it is needed we'll write that we'll just get that from here token get uh, selected playlist id and we are gonna use that in the use effect now We'll write const response response is equals to await axios dot get so let me show you which api we are going to use we are going to use playlists so where is the playlists yeah we are going to use this get playlist id so let's copy that from here And instead of this playlist ID, we are gonna use our selected playlist ID. That's it. And we have to pass the headers which we are gonna copy from any of the components. Let's remove this console, we don't need it. Let's copy this headers, head over to body.gsx. After this, headers, that's it. Now let's console the response. Okay, we have an error that our token is expired. Let's get a new token. I think we haven't called this function get initial playlist. And also let's move on to navbar and remove this console from here and check if there are any consoles in the spotify
no that isn't me okay we have an network error what is this network playlist okay i think we haven't set a playlist id correctly so let's console that first console log uh selected playlist id we just have the errors okay let's do this first we have the playlist id and why is showing object selected playlist id is the error coming from this only let's comment it out response yeah the error is coming from there only Okay, I think we made the mistake here. We have to end this here. That's it. And this should end here. Now we have some brackets issue. Yes, we are getting the data back. It's here. Okay, so uh, let me just console the response dot data. So what do we need is from this we will get the ID, this one, then. we will uh, get the name where is the name name yeah this one name then we will get the description this one then we will get the image this one then we will get all the tracks from this this is an uh, inside the tracks we have an item array so we are going to map this and inside that we have all of the details we need inside this track so let's uh, get the data from that so now i'll write const selected play list equals to id that would be from response dot data dot id then we will have a name that would be from response dot data dot name then we will have description description which would be from response dot data dot description now we are going to change with this with starts with starts with because sometimes we get an a uh, a tag anchor tag link inside this so we don't want this if there is anchor tag link then we will just pass an empty string or will pass response dot data dot description now after this description we will get the image and will write response dot data dot images this is an array and we need the zeroth element and inside that there is the image url after that we will have our tracks so this is the array response dot tracks dot items so we are going to map this we will get the track here right id as track dot id <clears throat> then we 
then the name as track dot name then we will have artists artists there could be several artists and it is an array so we are going to map that to <clears throat> artist.name then image track dot album dot images of two dot url then we need the duration of the track so it is track dot duration underscore ms so it is in milliseconds we need to convert this into minutes and seconds album track dot album dot name then we need the context uri this is a specific uh, uri so if we want to change the track we need this url so we are gonna grab that then we want the track number from the album so we'll write track dot track number yeah that's it so this is the data we are gonna need let's console this console dot console dot log selected playlist let me refresh this yeah so this is our selected playlist we have the description id image name and the tracks that we need that's very simple now let's dispatch this and save this to the state dispatch type reducer cases dot set playlist this isn't defined yet set playlist not set playlist we are gonna go to constants set playlist set playlists and now into the reducer we are going to use this reducer and selected play list is going to be null at first after this we'll use case reducer cases dot set playlist return mm, this would be dot 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 state and reduce uh, not that but will return I think yeah we are gonna return this selected playlist action action dot selected playlist why do we have an error here case reducer cases this is correct okay return spelling is not correct return yeah that's it now let's head over to body.jsx and now what we are gonna do is we'll dispatch this and after this we'll have the selected playlist that's it okay we are also gonna add the selected playlist id to this dependency list so whenever the id change uh, the use effect is again uh, run now we also need the selected playlist from our state selected playlist and now everything is done we just have to use that everything here okay so first we are gonna check if there is a selected playlist if it is not null then only we want to render our component so we'll use the fragments after this we have a div with the class name of playlist 
inside the playlist we will have our image image tag source would be a selected playlist selected playlist dot image and this would be selected playlist after the image we will have the details a span uh, we'll give it a class name of type this would be playlist in all caps caps play list after this we have an h1 with class name of title we'll give it a selected playlist select let playlist dot name after this h1 we have p with description as class name description so we'll write selected playlist dot description let's just check if everything is working yeah it does we have our image and we have our text and name and everything okay so we are gonna style it afterwards let's let's uh, get the list also so after this div playlist div we will have a div with a class name of list then we'll have a header row header row inside the header row we will have call inside the call we will have span okay we need the span tag and inside this let's copy all of this paste this would be title this would be album and this would be the icon that we uh, imported first the clock circle okay after this we will have the tracks and we are gonna use the selected playlist dot tracks dot map we need the id name artists image duration the album context uri then we need track number yeah that's it and after this we will have this and return return a dev with class name of row will also pass the key attribute as id then we'll have the call inside we'll have scan this would be index plus one okay we also need the index from here index why is a error here okay we have to wrap this into one more parenthesis that's it let's copy this we'll add a new class name here as detail and we have an image inside this the source would be the image id would be track not id alt we'll remove this and i think we have error here Okay, what's the error? Yeah, everything is perfect now. 
let's okay so we don't need this we'll remove this we have an call not call we'll uh, call this as info with span dot name there is name inside this then I think this should be inside this only yeah we'll create an image div here this is inside this and we'll have this info div inside this after this we'll have span and artist yeah that's it so after this div we'll have another call we'll have album inside this album okay and we again have an call inside this span we'll have our duration we'll convert uh, milliseconds to minutes and seconds afterwards let's uh, see here yes everything is perfect we have our data and everything okay also as you can see that our navbar is sticky it's to the top we'll change the color when uh, the scroll height is more uh, we'll do that afterwards so let's style this first let me shrink this and we will style this now I'll select the playlist inside the playlist we'll give it a margin margin of 0 and 2 rem we'll give it a display of flex align items of center let me scroll this we'll also give it a gap of 2 rem we'll select the image inside that we have the image tag we'll give it a height of 50 rem 15 rem not 50 rem okay it's small now now we will give it a box shadow of RGBA 0 0 0 it's outside this Zero point two five. Then we have zero pixels, twenty five pixels, fifty pixels, and the last would be twelve pixels. Okay. Let's increase this. Zero point one. Okay. There is a slight shadow now now after this we'll have the details then inside the details we'll give it a display of flex then we'll give it a flex direction of column we'll give it a gap of 1 rem color would be E0 DE DE will select the title and give it the color of white this is color and we'll give it a font size of 4 rem okay this isn't looking perfect I think Yeah, there should be some issue here let's reduce the gap to one rem okay we need to decrease this gap let's style this afterwards we'll do this afterwards 
now let's select the list dot list select the header row give it a display of grid grid template columns would be 0.3 fr 3 fr 2 fr and 0.1 fr you can see that here that it's a grid now let's also give it a color color would be ddd cdc okay it should be visible now after the color we'll give it a margin of 1 rem and 0 0 0 we'll also give it this as position sticky and the top would be 15 viewport height same as the navbar height so uh, if you remember we give navbar a top of 15 viewport height not top but uh, height why did we have an error I don't know Did we missed something? Let me reload this. Yeah, it's working now. Then we'll also give it a padding of 1 rem and 3 rem then what else will also give it a transition of uh, 0.3 seconds is in out now let's head over to the tracks and we'll give this a margin of 0 and 2 rem then we'll give it a display of flex and a flex direction of column we'll also give it a margin bottom of 5m we'll select the row give it a padding of 0 0.5 rem 1 rem we'll give it a display of grid and we are gonna copy grid template columns from here and this would be 3.1 fr just that and whenever we hover over this we will change the background color to RGBA 0 0 0 K 0 0.7 let's hover yeah the color is coming ok now inside the call We'll give it a display of flex align items of center color would be ddd cdc color ddd cdc so we also need to give an hexadecimal here okay the colors are changed now after this we will have an image and give this a height of 40 pixels that's it now we'll have the detail give it a display of flex um, gap of 
the detail gap of one rem and we'll select the info we'll give it a display of flex under flex direction of column that's it okay it's almost correct now we have to change this album so for that we'll change this to 2.3 fr 2.3 fr no we have to reduce this to 1.8 fr not that 1.9 yeah now it's correct album the whole effects are there now now what we'll do is whenever we scroll we want this to be a black color so let's head over to spotify.jsx and here we have to do something tricky so for that we are gonna use the use ref hook first and will have as here const body ref equals to use ref we will also need the use state hook use state and we are gonna create two state as nav background and set now background initially this would be false let me copy this and this would be uh, this would be header background header background we will just change this to set header background that's it now we'll create a function as const body scrolled scrolled equals to body ref dot current dot scroll top greater than equals to 30 then we'll set set now background as true or we'll set now background as false that's it let's copy this and we'll change this 30 to 268 and this would be set header background that's it now what we will do is we are gonna use this body ref on the body class here we'll have ref equals to body ref and we'll have on scroll as body scrolled now we'll pass the props here as now background nav background and inside the body we will pass header background as header background let's copy this and head over to navbar we'll destructure the prop from here and we'll pass this to our style component here and we are going to use in the background color here we'll use this syntax we need the nav background we'll return a string on the basis of nav background if it is true we will have rgba 0 comma 0 comma 0 0.7 or else we'll pass none that's it let's check if it's working let's scroll 
okay we have an issue here what is that let's open the console why the styles are not correct background color let's remove this for now comment this and we'll refresh it and see yeah it's working we just have issue from this so RGBA okay we have to close this yeah it is working you can see that here it is working and we have now we also have to do this title now let's do that we'll copy this head over to the body.jsx we'll destructure the header background from here header back ground and we'll provide this as prop to this container header background header background and inside here the header row will use this okay sorry header background and what height should be given here not height but the color okay it is hexadecimal color 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 DC that's it okay as you can see that we have different colors here and it is looking great now we just have to convert this milliseconds to seconds let's write the function for that um, const ms to minutes and seconds equals to we'll get the ms const minutes minutes equals to math dot floor will have ms divided by 60,000 and will have const seconds equals to ms modulo 60,000 divide by 1000 and we'll have two fixed as zero after this we'll return return minutes plus also plus we need seconds if it's less than 10 will have zero or else we'll have this plus seconds that's it let's wrap this into a parenthesis so it would be mud it would be clear to you yeah that's it now let's use this ms2 minutes here ms to minutes and seconds duration that's it let's check yeah it's working perfect now we have to style this scroll bar for that we'll head over to playlists.jsx and we are gonna copy this code from here and head over to body.js not body.jsx we'll head over to spotify.jsx and inside this body here we'll paste it and yeah we have our scroll bar yeah it's looking great and it's working perfect now we'll design the uh, footer 
so let's do that let's head over to the footer.jsx and we'll just give it some styles here width of 100% then we'll give a border top of 1 pixel solid color would be exactly decimal 28 28 28 then we'll give it a display of grid grid template columns of 1fr 2fr and 1fr then we'll give it align items of center justify content of center and we'll give it a padding of 0 and 1 rim that's it now let's head over here and you can see that we have the border and we have this footer okay so now what we'll do is we'll have a track information here currently playing track so for that we'll head over to our spotify and i'll play any of the song i'll just refresh this first if any song is not playing or there is no current uh, playing song available if it all if it is also in pause state it is uh, okay but if there is no song here then there isn't so uh, there would not be a song here also so make sure uh, a song is here now so now we'll create a new component named as current track current track dot jsx rfc will import the component here current track will also import this style and this container we only need style components once we we'll replace this divs with the container we also do need the use effect hook use if okay it's from react not styled use effect then let's head over to login.jsx and not login.jsx we will go to playlist.jsx and will import this use state provider current track use state provider don't need the playlists let's uh, copy an api call also we'll get this use effect copy current track paste it we'll change this to get current track and this api is gonna be this one get currently playing track this is under the player get currently playing track this is a get request we'll copy this replace it with this endpoint done now we don't need this consoles console log response I'll comment this out let's test this okay xus is not defined let's import it refresh Okay, the name is up in flames and here there is up in flames currently playing track so that's correct so we have the currently playing track now let's store that into the uh, reducer so let's go to constants.js and I have already written that set playing here set playing to set playing and inside the reducer.js i have 
written currently playing as null and written case reducer cases dot set playing currently playing action dot currently playing so that's it you can just write it and let's head over to currently current track and I will create the object on if condition if the response dot data is not equal to an empty string then we'll create current playing equals to I'm gonna grab item from response dot data so id would be item dot id then name would be item dot name artist would be item dot artist dot map artist artist dot name then we'll have the image item dot album dot images second dot url and now we'll dispatch to this cases dot we also need to import to this cases to this cases dot set playing and currently playing current playing we can also write current playing or we'll just replace with this with currently playing let's check this in reducer.js yeah it is currently playing and we'll input this with the token we delete it once currently playing okay that's it so now let's use this in the component below first we'll check if there is currently playing if it is null then we do need to render our uh, component now we have a div with a class name of track inside that we have div with a class name of track image we'll have the image image source would be a uh, current playing dot image this would be currently playing after this we'll have a track info we have h4 inside this and we are going to use current playing dot name and we have h6 this is for the artists and here what we'll do is we'll use currently playing dot artists dot join we'll join it by an uh, comma and a space yeah that's it so let's check it here yes we have our image and here is the name let's style this And select the track give it a display flex align items center gap of one rim I'll select the image no we don't need to select the image because it is correct I'll select the info and give it a display of flex then we'll give it a flex direction of column then we'll give it a gap of 0 0.3 rem and I'll select the edge 4 give it a color of white and I'll give it a edge 6 and give it a color of it's a decimal b3 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 that's it so this is correct now also 
head over to index.css and replace the uh, code here with a star selector and give it a margin of 0, padding is 0, box sizing of border box. So before before uh, the star selector there was a code here I have replaced it with this you can also do that now I will change the track and I will refresh this so yeah it is working now we'll have the player controls here so let's do that so now we'll create a new component named as player controls player controls dot jsx rfc let's import this into the footer player controls let's head over to player controls imports child from style components container is equals to styled dot div replace this now we are gonna import some icons for the player controls these are from react icons b s b s fill play circle ps fill play circle fill then ps fill pause circle fill and ps shuffle then we will import from react icon cg these are C, G, play track next, C, G, play track, riff, that's it. And we will also import from React icons, F, I, then this is F, I, repeat not D I F I F I repeat yeah that's it okay now we'll head over to reducer.js and we'll create a state first for our currently player state if it is uh, playing or not playing so I'll write player state as false and head over to constant js and we'll have the player state as set player state that's it let's head over to reducer.js copy this paste it and replace this with set player state and this currently playing would be player state that's it now let's head over to player controls again we'll replace this with our jsx markup so we will call the api afterwards so let's first do this shuffle ps shuffle then previous cg play track prev then we'll have a state so for that we'll check player state and if it is true then we'll have bs fill serve bs pause or else we'll have 
PS play circle fill and we have to write a question mark here that's it then we'll select the next CG play track next after this we have repeat yeah if I repeat yeah I think that's it let's check layer state is not defined let's grab it so I'm gonna go to current track and I'm gonna use this use state for element method call it here we don't current playing we need player state that's it use state provider is not defined auto import Okay, I made a mistake here. We have our player controls here. You can see that. And currently there is no playing song. So there is no here. We'll play a song. Refresh. Yeah, we have now here. Let's style this. So first I'll give it a display of flex. Then we'll align items, not align self, we need align items as center, justify content as center, we'll give a gap of 2 run, then we'll select the SVG, we'll give it a color of hexadecimal B3, 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 B3. B3 will get a transition of 0 0.2 seconds is in out and when we hover over this we need the color to white then we'll select the state select the SVG give it a color of white then select previous next and state and give it a font size of 2 rem that's it so this is the styling now let's handle the click methods of this so whenever we play and pause this we want to play and pause from the spotify we will handle the previous and next so let's do that so I'll create a method here first uh, const change track equals to async we'll have the type here so let's use this first change track on click mm change track and we'll pass ref here let's copy this and here at the next we'll do the same and just change this type to next now we have got the type here let's grab the api call from current track copy this And we also need the dispatch this API call would be replaced by skip to previous and skip to next skip to previous has this previous at the end and skip to next has this next at the end so both are similar we just need this okay and I think in the type here we need to pass this as full name as previous now we'll replace the endpoint here
this would be template string and this would be string interpolation of type let's console response I think there would not be any response from this mm, yes there wouldn't be any response and after this we will uh, call another API um, let's remove this and also make sure this is a post request not a get request you can see that from here it is a post request and after this we'll pass currently playing API so that would be from current track currently playing just copy this entire code clear controls paste it and we'll dispatch if else will dispatch null not just null currently playing as null okay that's it let's test it we have error reducer cases and axios auto import reducer cases now let's test this currently it is playing something special I'll just decrease the volume first I'll change the track did it change? I think I have to play first refresh this next previous I think we should be having errors let's check into the network I'll just pause it next no token provided we did provide the token ok here headers ok so so this is a post request so after uh, the URL it comes the body part so we'll just part, uh, pass an empty object to the body and the headers would be the third part so now it should work next yeah it is being changed you can see that here next still in love it is changed let's go to previous yes it is working correctly okay so now we'll have the play pause functionality let's do that const will have change state here const change state equals to async so we'll have const state equals to player state if it is true then we'll have pause and we'll have play if it is false let's copy this API call and I'm sorry this should be outside here copy paste again an empty body so this API call would be set playback state not get playback state yeah this one start resume track mm, 
no i don't think this is the one yeah we have this uh me slash play slash pause and for play yeah we have this play so we'll uh, have play pause conditionally so we'll just change this to dollar state make sure to change this string type and we will dispatch type as set play state and player state would be not player state we'll just invert this so if it is true then it will be false and if it is false then it will be true now we will just use this here on click change uh, change state copy this paste it here let's try it I think we have an error here maximum update depth What mistake did we made? Okay, so the dispatch would be inside of this. Yeah, so that's the mistake we made. Let's play. We have an error of 401. Let's check. No token provided. Okay, so this is an put request, I think. Yeah, this is a put request. Put. Yeah, it is working now. So here, now it is in this pause button. We'll change. Now play. Again change. Yeah, so this is working perfect. Now we'll have the volume controls here. So let's do that. So now we'll have the volume controls. So for that we'll create a new component volume.jsx RFC import that into the footer volume let's head over to volume I'm just gonna copy this style Copy the container. We'll replace this div with container. And inside the container, we'll have an input of type range, not radio, range. We don't need to give a name and ID, we'll just uh, give it min of 0 and uh, min of 0 and a max of 100 and on mouse up we will have a function call of set token not set token we'll have set volume and pass the event will have const set volume equals to this let's grab the token so I'm gonna copy this we don't need the dispatch method here and this place it we just need the token 
you step provider let's style this first so currently this is like this and we'll give it a display of flex we'll give it justify content of flex and align items align content content of center and we'll select the input give it a width of 15 rem border radius of 2 rem height of 0.5 5 rem yeah it is looking great now let's call the api we'll copy the api from here and this is going to be set playback volume api this one this is a put request and at the end we just have the volume volume put request and here we also need to pass a query param of volume percent device id is optional but volume percent would be the percent of volume that we want to set so i'll write params before header here params and i'll write volume percent as parse int and the value from e dot target dot value okay this should be this and the comma here do we still have an error Let's check. Okay, this should be a sync. XS is not defined. Okay, so the current volume is this. Let's increase it. Think it failed. Four zero four slash new slash volume. This is a put request. What error did we have? Let's change it again. Clear field, no active device found. Okay, there should be an active device. Let's play and now let's change the volume. Okay, yeah, it's working. So I'll decrease the volume. Yeah, it is working. So the player controls volume and this is done. So now what we'll do is when we select this playlist, we want to change the playlist here. And when we select any song from here, we want to change the track here. So that's the last thing. Let's do that. So we'll first head over to playlist.jsx inside the playlist.jsx we'll just have a method here as const change current playlist playlist equals to selected playlist id and we'll use the dispatch method we'll write set playlist id and we'll pass selected playlist id and that's it and now we'll use this function here inside the li we'll write on click 
and we'll pass change change current uh, playlist and we'll pass the id here that's it let's test it i don't know why this is not working are we sending the dispatch method correct type okay set playlist id i think we need to add set playlist id into the reducer state set playlist id set playlist id that's it and now inside the reducer copy this paste it set playlist id and we'll have a selected playlist id here that's it let's head over to playlist.jsx should work now yeah it is being changed you can see that change the songs are also being changed yeah it is perfect now let's uh, play a song when we click here so let's do that so for that i think we need to go to body.jsx and inside body.jsx will create a method as play track after this const play track equals to async and we need id name artists image context URI and track number that's it now let's call this from below so on the row here yeah this one when we click over this on click we'll call our function play track and we'll pass in the all of this that is needed here copy and paste that's it now inside the function here we'll call the api of play so let's head over to layer controls and I'm gonna copy this await xuse.post not this one this one yeah this one let's head over to body.jsx paste it and this would be play we'll pass in the context URI the offset would be position and track number minus one after the offset we'll pass position position underscore ms as zero okay that's it now after this api we'll check if response dot status triple equals 2204 if the track is played we'll have const current playing as id name artist and image 
and we'll dispatch dispatch type reduce uh, reduce cases dot set playing and we'll pass current playing and we'll use another dispatch here and pass type this would be reduce a cases dot set player case state if it is in pause state we need to make it into the play state and we'll pass player state as true and we'll also use the else here and we'll do the same in the else that's it. Now let's check. We'll go to YouTube next. And currently it is something special. We'll use lost control. Okay, it did play. Lost heaven. But why we don't have any here so current playing current playing and let's go to current track current playing and then I think this component did not update. Let's console log here. Component and we'll also pass current plane. Component change okay so now it is undefined why is that did we make a mistake currently playing okay so it is currently playing not current playing we have to change that it should work now yeah it is working now perfect as we change here it is also being changed here Yeah, everything is working perfect. Play, pause, skip, skipped, previous. So yes, so our application is complete. If you want more videos like this, please like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.